What is happening guys, Cowboy here, and today I want to talk about farming smithing texts. So pretty much every set in the game that you can get, stuff like Master Swordsman, stuff like Prolific at Center, all of these have smithing texts that allow you to craft them at the blacksmith. In general, you farm these off of bosses, they're usually, you know, the boss of each different level has a smithing text associated with them, and obviously it's a little bit tedious to replay through an entire mission. So today I'm going to talk about what you can do to maximize your chances of a smithing text and show you how I go about farming them. Now, obvious spoilers here, as we are pretty late into the game, so you guys are going to be seeing a, uh, a late game boss, and it's kind of a story related one, so just wanted to get that out there. First and foremost, before you do any farming, you absolutely want to make sure that you have on the Hunter Blessing. The drop rate for materials, the 25% chance here, this will also affect the drop rate of smithing texts. So you want to have that maxed out in whatever region you're in. Obviously, the levels of these come from getting Kodamas in the various regions, so keep that in mind. Beyond that, the most important stat to have on your gear is going to be item drop rate. So as you can see, I have item drop rate on the Curious, I have item drop rate on the Master Swordsman's Gauntlets, I have it on my waist. Um, beyond that, there is also a clan that can boost your luck, and then if you arrange your T utensils in a specific order, you can also boost your luck that way. So if I was to go on over to here, you can see I'm up at 98 luck, which is quite a bit. Uh, if we scroll down in this sum for my item drop rate, you can see my item drop rate is up to 18.6%. So this is pretty good. Ideally, I would say you want your item drop rate to be as close to 20 as possible. Um, between having that and the Hunter's Blessing and High Luck, you can farm cores incredibly fast. Now, pretty much every boss in the game is going to have a shrine that is right by that boss. And this is going to be important. You're obviously going to want to have rested at that shrine. And now we're essentially going to go in, we're going to kill the boss, and then if we don't get what we want, we're going to reset. So we're using Tiger Running Scroll here. This is going to allow us to just sprint right past everything and get to where we can fight the boss. For those curious, this is the dual sword build I just uploaded. A really, really nice build for farming bosses and stuff like this. He's annoying. Bring him on over here. And we did not. Oh, there we go. Smithing text, golden gourd armor. All right, now I'm not going to do it because I actually got the text. That's um, some, some pretty amazing luck. But if you didn't get the text, right now the game has not saved. So if you were to hit start, you go to system, return to title screen. This is going to respawn you right back at that shrine that we were just at. And then you'll do exactly what you saw me do here. You'll pop your tiger running, you'll sprint on into the fight, you'll kill the boss, and it'll drop the loot, hopefully. If it doesn't, quit the title screen, start again. Uh, I'm actually kind of amazed it just dropped for me. This was my, my third run on him, and as I was doing it, I was like, well, you know, it would probably be good to, to show this off, because I'm sure a lot of people are going to be farming smithing texts. But that's the basic gist. Uh, it's It's incredibly fast to do it this way as opposed to trying to uh, go the old-fashioned way and you know replay through an entire level since this will allow you to just restart from a checkpoint obviously you're going to miss out on the all the emrita that you would gain via farming but let's be honest if you're at this point in the game you're not doing this for the emrita you're doing it to get that smithing text and move on with your day so that's going to wrap this one on up going to keep things short and sweet here thanks for coming on by and i'll catch you guys next time